Bismillah, Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, I'll be making yet another argument for Hadith preservation, specifically Sunni Hadith preservation. This is from the sincerity of the Sahaba. So basically, in his uh, recent debate that Clown Jawad Hashmi was uh, whining that Sahaba are not analyzed, hence Ahadith are uh, unreliable, right? Uh, of course, his claim is worthless, like the claims of most Orientalists and their uh, bootleggers but uh, in this video i'll be making an argument for hadith preservation that is based on the reliability uh, and sincerity of the sahaba so here's the argument the sahaba are the transmitters of sunni ahadith first transmitters right if they are honest the hadith are reliable if they are dishonest the hadith are unreliable we can prove through non-muslim historical sources uh, that the integrity of sahaba which is a massive argument for hadith preservation because this shows the sincerity of sahaba if they are honest they are unlikely to lie and make things up and hence they are much more likely to report the truth so uh, as evidence for uh, my argument i'll be using the conquest of syria as an example and on this issue there's a christian source a christian chronicler from 8th or 9th century basically is reporting from the christian tradition what happened at the time of conquest of Syria. During the Muslim conquest, uh, Muslims had conquered parts of Syria, but before the battle of Yarmouk, they had to withdraw. Withdraw. Now, of course, the Muslims had taken tribute money, right, from the Christians as tax or basically because they were conquerors, they won the right to it. But before leaving, the Muslims decided to refund the money they took as tribute from, from the Christians. This is a mind-blowing display of sincerity and integrity of Muslims with no parallel in history. Think about this. The Muslims are in a war. At that time, they need the money the most. And even if they didn't uh, need, need the money the most, no one in history would have returned it. But because Muslims are honest, uh, the Sahaba and their followers were honest men of principle and they were committed to Islam. They refund, refunded the money because they couldn't protect the Christians. This is a fact of history. And basically, and just to give you a little context of this issue, the non-Muslims paid a poll tax to the Islamic State so that their lives, religion and property were protected under the rule of the Muslims. This is how it's supposed to happen in Islamic law. However, in this case, the Muslims knew that they might be unable to protect the Christians of Syria due to an imminent attack by Heraclius. Therefore, it was not fair to keep the money if they could not protect the masses. This proves the sincerity and integrity of Sahaba beyond reasonable doubt. I don't think there's any way around this point. Now. Just so you don't think I'm making this up, I'll give a Christian reference for this issue. Dionysius of Tel Mahar was a Jacobite uh, patriarch from 818 to 845 CE. He basically states in his chronicle of that time period. Abu Ubaida Raziyallahu, whom Umar Raziyallahu had put in command of the Arabs, ordered Habib ibn uh, Maslama Raziyallahu to return to the Emesines the tribute which he had exact, exacted from them with this message we are bo both bound by our mutual oaths now we are going to do battle with the romans if we return this tribute is ours if we are def but if we are defeated and do not return we are absolved of our oaths uh, the christians at the time actually preferred the muslim rule over the oppressive byzantines and basically Dionysus Dynas also confirms this so the Arabs uh, this is a further uh, work from the same text so the Arabs left Damascus and pitched camp by the uh, river Yarmouk as the Romans marched towards the Arab camp every city and village on their way which had surrendered to the Arabs shouted threats at them as for the crimes the Roman committed on their passage the, uh, they are unspeakable and their unseemliness ought not even to be brought to mind so this is what romans did to their own people the arabs the muslims the sahaba and their followers returned 
elated with the great victory they won the battle of yarmouk to damascus and the damascenes greeted them outside the city and welcomed them in joyfully and all treaties and assurances were reaffirmed again there is no way around the absolute uh, proof here of the sincerity and integrity of the sahaba and this is something that even christians are acknowledging this is a 8th century or 9th century christian source that's acknowledging this happened if this was just in muslim source you could say that it didn't happen but this is in a christian source who's quoting from his own christian sources so there is no way around the integrity and sincerity of the sahaba now there are there is a contention that can be made to this argument some clowns can try to claim that ahadith don't go back to the sahaba and the isnads to the sahaba are made up there is a very simple response to this this contention fails because most of the hadith uh, that uh, are narrated by the younger sahaba like hazrat abu huraira radhiyallahu anhu and hazrat anas bin malik radhiyallahu anhu and etc if people are fabricating isnads they wouldn't have chosen the younger sahaba who had spent uh, only 3 years as in the case of hazrat abu huraira radhiyallahu anhu radhiyallahu anhu with prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they would have chosen older sahaba who had been him since the uh, makka since early makka so these is not simply wouldn't have been fabricated which uh, indicates they weren't fabricated and hence is an argument for hadith preservation in and of itself so this contention also fails uh, in conclusion i hope you have seen that the integrity and sincerity of sahaba is actually a massive proof for hadith preservation and that the clowns whining against the sahaba really don't have a leg to stand on inshallah i hope you have enjoyed this video inshallah i'll keep refuting these clowns till next time assalam alaikum